hello everyone welcome in the new video in this video again we will use stm series microcontroller and this is the part number stm 32f 103 c6 and now in today's video we will use uart for this stm 32 it's actually uart so first of all let us create a new project STM32 project and in this STM32 uh, series microcontroller we have a UART so actually UART is universal asynchronous receiver transmitter and UART is actually having synchronization option also so basically the difference between synchronize and asynchronize is clock in synchronized communication we have the clock but in asynchronous communication there is clock so for the transmission uh, and uh, for effective communication there is a term called baud rate okay and both the end baud rate should be same so let us select our part number which is stm32 f103 c6 now click on next button here you can give any name click on finish and now it will open the project right with the ic so whatever it will open a gui and in the ic itself for specific pin you can select its functionality as per your requirement so now meanwhile you can see this is the ic and for uart because we are working with this Proteus, so we have this option called virtual terminal, right? So, virtual terminal is nothing but a terminal on which you can observe whatever you will send on you or whatever you want to receive. So, this virtual terminal will be useful, right? It's like a terminal itself. Right, and now we have this uh, open project UART. So, first of all, you have to give the clock. So, for that, RCC should be HSC should be crystal ceramic. And now, next is you have to select the UART. Right, so now instead of checking this right on each pin whether the UART functionality is there or not directly we can check in this connectivity and you can see different protocols are there okay and this is what this called usart1 usart2 so initially we will use usart1 and here in mode you have to select a synchronize right as i told you earlier in usart we have synchronize option also but here we will select a synchronize and you can see here two pins will be uh, configured as a usart right and which pins are there they are pa9 as a tx and pa10 as a rx so remember pa9 tx pa10 rx so in this ic since pa9 is a tx so you have to select pa9 with rx and since pa10 is rx we have to connect this with tx okay so this is what the connection for today's video i have already provided this power supply using this configure power rail option and now you can check different things if you want to check this uh, change this clock for specific hardware but now for this video we will not change anything we will simply generate the code so you have to click over here right and it will generate the code required files for you right and you can see in source there is a code main.c and this is what the user code okay so here you have to uh, add your code right now here you can see user one already initialize right few things you can check what is the border rate so definitely we will change this okay 9600 baud rate 
and now we will check the drivers for the user so for driver you have to select this folder you driver stm 32 hl driver source and in source you have to select our uart.c file now initially i want to transmit so definitely i will search for transmit related api so first of all let us check whether any uh, api is there or not right so dma option is there transmit it option is also there okay but we will use uh, this hl you are transmit and hl you are to receive right so let us search for this functions definition so that we can come to know that what type of arguments required and this is the function so copy this okay and paste it in our main.c here we are only transmitting something right then later on we will use receive but initially we will only transmit something so in while one or let us say uh, only one time we want to uh, transmit anything on ur so here you can see we have three argument first one is ur handle type so initially in the code you can see this private variable was already defined so you have to use this huart1 and here you have to write and huart1 okay here we are giving this uh, what we can say uart handler right next argument is what is your message so let us say test is my message i will create this okay you in paste and here i will send my message hello embedded okay this is my message hello embedded and uh, let us add one more thing for uh, new line for care is written right that is uh, nl for new line here i am creating this less r less n so that if i will write this it will automatically move cursor in new line and starting position right and now we will our third argument is size so simply i can write size of our message array and last argument is time out time out so here you can give a uh, value right if you want to receive something and if you want that uh, this program should wait for some time then you can give larger value so let us uh, set initially 25 okay and then uh, we will use uh, we will again uh, you know type another message but before that we will add new line and for new line we have this nl and again we will write something some new message and i will define it later on let us say our new message is test one okay and uh, here i will define it I will release this okay and now test one test one okay and this is the message so now you can see i have uh, defined these three different messages you can say array having this message hello embedded this is for new line and welcome and here you can see i have only added three lines first line transmitting our message hello embedded second line for new line and third line is welcome okay that's it we will not add anything else now simply build this code it will check whether any error is there or not okay then 
then if uh, any error is there then you have to solve and if here you can see zero error so now simply i can release this project it will make a release folder and now we need a hex file okay so in this release folder you can see hex file is not there so you have to you know do some changes so in project properties in c plus plus build setting tool chain post build and here you have to select this option hex file and click on apply and close and again release the target and now this release folder should have hex file and this is the hex file right so now let us copy this path okay this is the path and now we will simply load our x file in our circuit or you can say virtual circuit right so here i will give the path and this is the x file simply load it and now i will run it oh sorry yes And now you can see we have the message hello embedded welcome you can see these messages right both the messages are there so this is how you can use ur for data transmission now let us one very small thing in this same after displaying this message ur will ask some input from the user so now we will use receive ur and then we will display the same message again on the ur okay so for that what we will do we will simply check the driver okay and you are receive is also there yes this is okay we will use this in our code now again here also we will use you are one only okay now here we will use another variable or you can say uh, array in which we will receive the data and let us uh, set that we will uh, receive two digit data only okay so let us say urtrx okay this is my variable urtrx and this is size of same argue same arguments right size of you at rx and now this time we will set this time out to large value let us say 5000 okay and then we will simply display this message whatever user will enter because how this function will work when controller will execute this it will wait for uh, input from the user now user will enter something so it will directly stored in this variable right so now we can pass this variable in transmission transmitter right and it should be there on terminal but before that let us add this new line so that we can have proper display so after receiving it will set a new line and in on new line whatever user will enter it will display on the same terminal and now only one thing is uh, remaining which is we have to create this variable okay u int it underscore t this time we will set this value length of 2 okay and initially we will write 0 okay so now its size is of 2 so it will only wait for 2 digit and whenever user will enter second digit it will simply uh, take the, the, those two digits as a value assigned to this variable and it will simply transmit on the same terminal now let us run this code so this is the combination of transmit and receive now hex file is generated now again rerun this and remember one thing uh, there is uh, some time out so before that you have to enter this okay so let us run so two message now i will enter value 88 
one minute 88 and here you can see 88 value is there right let us run it again you can see first it will display these two message then it will wait for some time from user and then i will enter something from the keypad and it should display whatever i will enter right so now i will enter uh 25 okay remember i will enter 25 so this is the code now 25 sorry 25 yes and you can see 25 is there okay so before writing you have to click in the virtual terminal then and then it will read the value from the terminal again let let us rerun it now i will enter 99 9 sorry 99 okay so here you can see initially you are transmit these two messages then it will wait for some time from the user uh, to uh, you know write some input and whenever user will write in uart it will display whatever user will write right so this is how you can configure the uart and you can work with it so this is what for today's video if you like my work then like my videos and subscribe my youtube channel thank you very much